Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do Lead Code Weekly third question. So here, as you can see, that this question is basically medium level difficulty. So surely there would be some tweaks which we are required to do in this question. And before that, let us read this question and how we are required to do this question. That all we will be discussing in this particular video. But before starting with the discussion of this question, let me introduce you with one more coding contest. So basically that coding contest is introduced by Newton School. So as you are already doing the coding contest at the code weekly challenges, we could buy weekly challenges, things like that. So you can also do that coding contest as well. You could head over to the description below and there you can figure out with that link. You can register for the same completely free of cost and you will be getting exciting prizes if you are in one of the top performers. So this was all about that. So now let us read about this particular question and then we will be checking about the constraints and yeah, then how to do this question about that also. So you are given a string S and a robot that currently hold an empty string P. So S is given by us and T is the string with the robot. So this is somehow they are making up a story because really this is most uh, means this was a really complicated question. Apply one of the following operation until S and T are both empty. So basically these two operation which we are required to apply, these are making this um, question much more complex. So remove the first character of the string S and give it to the robot. The robot will append this character to the string T. So when we remove the character from the first character from string S, so that we are required to give that character to the robot. And then remove the last character of the string T and give it to the robot. So now that from that string T also, see from S we are removing from the first and from the T we are removing from the last. The robot will write this character on paper. So the thing would be that from string S we are removing from the front and from string T we are removing from the last. These are the two operations which we are required to do. But the thing is the way they are saying in that manner exactly we are not required to do because here you can see in this particular means here in this example you can see that this particular Z Z A A and then A is Z Z which is there. And how this answer comes. So they are explaining that initially paper is having empty and S is having all the characters and T is again empty at the start, right? So then they are saying that perform first operation three times, then our S would be completely empty when we perform that operation three times consecutively, and then we remove all those characters from the S and then fill that characters. To the T, the thing which we are doing means we are removing Z and appending that Z to the T. Then we are removing another Z and appending to the T. And then we are removing A and we are appending to the T. So this we are doing. And then perform the second operation three times. So when we are pro uh, that, so from the last we are removing A and appending to the paper. And like that only we are doing for others. Okay. So this was for the first example. Now. See for the second example. Now how they are doing. So they are basically doing like first operation they are doing twice. Okay. So ABC which is being given to us. So they are basically taking that A and B and then appending that to the T. So that is what they are doing. And then we are doing uh, removing from the backward means this A and pushing that to the paper. That's what they are doing. And then doing same for this. And then C is still removed. So basically, if we take these two examples, then you can directly see that, like on what basis they are doing this operation, like how they are deciding that they are now required to do this, uh, this number of operations only in this particular, so that we are able to get our final answer as the most smallest lexographical order, right? So that's why even the examples are much more confusing at this point. And then the constraint which is being given that is 10 to 5. So surely we can go to log n solution. That's all right. But now 
just think about the fact from these examples there's one thing in common that is that whatever we are appending to a particular string we are required to me uh, pick it out from the back as well right so the way we are appending that from the back means in the reverse order we are required to get it back also so the thing is like in this way we think then surely some sort of data structure which comes to our mind is stack that see whenever we push anything to the stack right if we are pushing one for the first time then two then three then four then four would be at the top right and whenever we get answer from a stack then the order would be rather than one two three four it would be four three two one right so like this only here we can use stack and that will help us to get our this answer rather than being getting confused with the example explanation which they have given to us so at the end we are required to return the lexicographical small string that can be written on the paper so at the end after all we are required for the small string right so now let us make this solution that how we are required to do so first thing there are basically duplicates also and some letters also mean the unique one is not there so for that duplicate also we are required to check that how we are required to do for those duplicates means the thing is that if we are taking that which is smaller which is greater we will be also required to check which is equal to so that what i need to say for this particular portion and the thing for this stack so for that stack part we are required to check that at this stack this whatever top element which is there at this stack is it smaller or it is greater or it is equal to the element which we are having in our hand and those elements also we are required to check with the help of that are there some more elements which are being there right so these were some of the points which were coming up in the mind when doing this particular question although i had a really long solution for the same but then now i have optimized it for the same and also have referred some of the discussed sections also so now the solution which i will be showing you today that will be smaller version of the same so so let me so before going ahead let me write the few points which we are required to check the first point is that there are duplicate elements as well and second thing is we will be using stack so that we could check for the reversals as well and the third point which is being there is that we are because there are duplicate right so because of that we are required with the frequencies as well frequencies and the lowest elements at every point of that frequency so these are the three points which we are required to keep in mind while doing this question and ask for the behavior of this question so now let us go ahead with this question i'll directly walk you through the code for this question because i had it written the algorithm for the same so i'll explain you with the code i guess explaining direct code is much more difficult if i would have written algorithm then it would have been much more clear but let me try to explain you from this code only so now this is the main implementation of this code now how this code proceed first thing is we are required with the stack as i was explaining that we are required with the stack this is for our answer because the return type is string now next thing what we are doing in this portion is we are basically storing all the frequencies of all those elements which are being present in our string basically our input string so this is how we are storing the frequency this is a straight forward operation which we used to do in various questions now this is the particular main portion where we are checking that uh, basically here we are making the lexicographical smallest string and how we are making now let me uh, tell you so first thing is that whatever element we are getting that we will be first pushing to our stack okay now as we have pushed that element to the stack so we will be decreasing its frequency from the frequency array that simply signifies that now that particular element is not present in our answer uh, not in our answer but in our s that is not present now so that operation is done now cool 
Now comes this particular part that while our stack is having all the elements, basically our stack is greater than zero because this operation could be done multiple times as well. And that multiple time operation would be in that case when we have duplicate elements. Even there would be that case of ZZ. So it would be done multiple times, right? So that's why we are required to keep a check that our stack is basically greater than zero or not. So then we are checking this particular thing. So we are now checking that if our stack top element which is there, is it smaller or equal to? Equal to in the case of duplicates. If it is smaller or equal to the element which will be returned by this particular function low, this low function will be returning that element which is the smallest at this particular moment and uh, corresponding to the frequency array which is being there. Because of this particular frequency array, we are able to eliminate the elements from the S, right? So that's why frequency will be changing at every moment. So that's why we are calling this function again and again in this particular. And now, if the case is that the element which is being there at the top, please let us go ahead with this example only ZZA. So we will be pushing Z, right? So let us start from the start only. So we will be first pushing this Z. So now we will be checking uh, because our frequency would be having uh, at corresponding to zero, means basically for the A it would be having one and corresponding to 26, that is Z, it will be having two, right? So because we have pushed this Z, so our frequency will be now something like this corresponding to zero, that is A, it will be one and corresponding to 26, it will be one again because we have pushed this, right? So now when it will be checking in that particular function, so now the thing would be what it will be returning, right? So now here, here, Basically, when we are checking at this particular point, means at this particular point, our topmost element is Z now, right? So our frequency will be passed, uh, our frequency of this will be passed, right? Now, how we will be checking? So for I equal to zero, I less than 26 and so on, we will be checking at E in this particular range, we will be checking that for frequency of I is not equal to zero, that is that particular frequency is present or not. So frequency of zero that will be present because it is corresponding and having some value, right? So at that moment, we will be returning this A plus I that simply signify that A would be returned. Basically, A plus I represents that we are converting that zero to A. So at that moment, our A would be returned, right? And here we are having Z, right? right? Hmm. So here at the top we are having Z and the frequency will be returning A, right? So because of that fact only we won't be entering this particular Y loop and then we will be moving the head again and then And then because of that fact, we will be again pushing our Z into our stack. And again, it will be returning A, right? So now when it gets that A again, we said the third point when it gets A, right? So both of them will be equal to, right? So at that moment of time, we will be appending our answer with that particular which is being there at the top, right? And then we will be popping that out from the stack. Now, next thing comes that uh, because this while loop is uh, uh, would be still running, right? And now this Z, now at the top we will be having Z and our low would be returning this Z because it won't be satisfying this particular condition, right? So that's why at that particular moment, now our Z will be equal to Z. And because of this, now it will be entering this loop again. So till now our answer would, was having this A as answer. Now our answer would be having A and Z as our answer. And that Z would be popped. So now our stack is still empty, right? So that's why, because this was popped, 
and now our stack is still there it is not empty so now for this particular again it will be taken now z and z are equal so again this will be happening and now this will be our answer and now when you check now stack is basically empty right so that's why at the end you will be returning this as our answer so this was all for this particular question and yeah we are left with the time complexity and space complexity so basically the time complexity and space complexity both would be order of n for the same uh so here is the space complexity now let me explain you how so time complexity is order of n because here you can see that here we are doing order of n operation here is done and then this particular operation is completely dependent that it is order of n or not but this is order of n and this could be like it is dependent upon that 26 only so it can be order of n it can't be order of n it means its highest limit could go till order of n but it will be in overall cases at order of 26 and this is also order of 26 only so basically in conclusion to all of these the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of n in that case that we are pushing every time to the stack so at the worst case scenario our stack would be having n elements and because of that and yeah because of that it will be order of n so this was all for this particular question and yeah although it was much complex but yeah it was pretty much interesting question also so this was all for today's question i hope you like this explanation if you have any doubt you could comment that down and yeah this was all for this particular question Please do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share among your friends. So this was all. Thank you.